My name's Rebecca Johnson and I'm the head of the Australian Centre for Wildlife Genomics here at the Australian Museum and I'm really lucky to be co-leading the Koala Genome Project with colleagues at the Queensland University of Technology. The Koala Genome Project is all about sequencing every single piece of DNA that koalas have. So every single piece of DNA from each of their chromosomes. In addition to that, we're also sequencing all of the koala genes. And we think that koalas have probably a similar number to humans, but the genes only make up about 2% of the genome. So they're two rather large projects, but they work really well together. This project is quite unique because it's one of the first really large sequencing projects to be done completely in Australia. It's a big undertaking, but it's also very exciting and we have learnt a lot. The koala genome has been a bit of a scientific race around the world. The uh, koala is so iconic that there have been quite a few research groups interested in it. And we're, we're really excited to be co-leading this project that really is at the forefront of sequencing the koala genome. People are often surprised to hear that the Australian Museum is doing so much wildlife research. We have a lot of dead animals in our collection, up to 18 million, and people don't think about the fact that we use those specimens for researching animals that are alive, so we can provide management advice to wildlife managers. We provide a lot of advice to zoos and other places that have small populations that they're trying to maximise the genetic diversity of. And we even use those specimens in court cases where uh, we, we have to provide expert evidence on smuggled wildlife. We hope to learn so much about the koala from the Koala Genome Project. The obvious things are how do we help prevent it from suffering so many diseases? How do we help uh, treat those diseases? How do we help maximise the diversity so that they're less susceptible to those diseases? And then definitely from a museum point of view, we're really interested in such an unusual creature in how it evolved and, and what, what we can learn about uh, koala evolution and absolutely also what we can learn about koala populations and really give some on the ground management advice about how to conserve them as best as possible. <laughs>